Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So congratulations to every Bitcoin hodler, my friends. We are hitting the $18,000 level. What an amazing price level for this year. So before we start with today's content, my friends, because we're going to analyze what could be the potential next move in the Bitcoin price, because currently we are in no man's land. We are going into new levels. I first want to say a big thank you for your support, my friends. We are hitting a lot of nice uh, likes and views ratio right now. So thank you very much for your support and also for subscribing and always hitting that like button. So also for this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. You have to smash something with $18,000 per Bitcoin. If you're not smashing here the like button, then just take a little bit of fiat your local fiat and smash it on the floor because very soon it's gonna be worth nothing all right my friends so before we start a little update here on the prime xpt co-vesting feature we are still waiting for the no one trader to come back into the game so make sure that you have already loaded up your account here on prime xpt if you still need an account you find my referral link down below here in the video description for prime xpt so make sure that you sign up with my referral link you support the channel load up the account and then you're ready to start following the no one trader once he's coming back and i will announce it over over on discord as soon as he opens up the new strategy so stay tuned for this next big thing and a little side note to all the miners out there today is going to be the launch of the new amd graphics card the rx 6800 so today we're gonna see if this is a good mining card for our mining rigs so if you are also mining some bitcoin and ethereum then today is of course a very important day because today we will see how the mining hash rate is for this card because currently as you know by now i'm mining on rtx 3080s so currently this is my mining rig and you can see that i'm getting almost one ethereum per month with only four rtx 3080 graphics cards so a very powerful miner so let's see if this new amd graphics card is going to outperform the nvidia cards today we're gonna see the results and also if you're interested in mining with your own computer and your own notebook of course you can also still do that over on the nice hash or kudo miner those two miners are very easy to set up you just have to download the software and then immediately you can start mine bitcoin in ethereum with your pc or notebook so if you want to try it out you find also the download links down below here to those miners and now my friends let's start with the main topic today and this is bitcoin right now going into new levels here you can see the four hour time frame which right now is still looking very bullish as you can see my own indicator currently we still didn't get any kind of sell signals so we still are shifted to the upside and we should see continuation to the upside in the next couple of hours even though of course there are still a lot of warning signs although you can see that we had in the last four hour candle here a huge week to the downside which came straight into our previous resistance which now is new support at around seventeen thousand dollar so in the crypto space those kind of weeks are normal so don't be scared if you see sometimes candle like this and if we compare now the bitcoin price to the dxy you can see that we have exactly the opposite the dxy is still falling but as you can see right now we are coming into a very critical point the dxy is currently at the same lows as we had here so at around 92 dollars and if here the dxy is able to push higher and again retest the 93 dollar level we could be in a potential double bottom formation here in the dxy and we could expect continuation to the upside but i'm not pretty confident that this will happen because the dxy is still looking very very weak and i'm not expecting the dxy to push very high at any time soon so if we're gonna go lower than 92 dollars then be prepared to see a big sell-off in the dxy and the opposite in the bitcoin price the only thing is that currently we are getting a buy signal here in the dxy so that is the only reason why i think the dxy maybe could see a bounce here but overall the dxy why still looking very bearish and i don't expect here big gains anytime soon which of course is in favor for the bitcoin price and also overall for the stock market as well 
And now we can go over into the Bollinger Bands because currently you see that we are trading right at the top here, right at $18,400. So even if we would see a correction down towards the middle line here of $16,800, we will still remain on our bullish way to the upside, even here in the lower time frames and also you can see that currently KSC and MACD are still shifted to the upside. There are some signs that we still see continuation towards 20k. I also think that 20k is about to come in the next couple of hours or days maybe within this week but there are so many huge warning signs that we could see a bigger correction at any time soon. So just be prepared to buy the dip if we're gonna have a major correction make sure to DCA the lower we're going more and more because you definitely don't want to miss out the next buy opportunity also here in the four hour you can see that the stochastic is completely overbought so also here this is screaming for a little pullback at least towards here the first two moving averages here between 17,500 down to 16,800 dollar but maybe Bitcoin can also still have one less leg up to the upside potentially also to create new all-time highs so we are just about to cross the 20k level not even 10% is needed to reach these levels and I think most likely we're going to reach a new all-time high pretty soon and now my friends let's go over into the daily time frame because here you can see that currently we are still far away from all the moving averages you can see here the 20 50 and 200 daily still far away so we could at any time come down here to test one of these moving averages before we maybe create another base and then gear up for another big parabolic run up to the upside but Bitcoin currently doesn't give me the impression that this was the blow off top or this was the local top and we're gonna start a correction because usually the last couple of moves before Bitcoin is topping out are always very fast and they go straight up so that's why I think most likely this is not over yet and we will see also 20k pretty soon before a major correction and the good thing is that the longer we stay in these levels far away from all the moving averages the more higher they are coming so even if we would have a bigger crash here towards the 200 daily moving average you can see that this is currently right here at 11,000 so that's why I think it is very unlikely that we will ever go again below the 200 daily moving average especially after we have seen what Bitcoin can do here in just a couple of days and weeks. And if we go now into the Bollinger Bands in the daily, you can see that currently we're still overshooting into the upside. So also here retracement back down towards the two moving averages here between 16,500 and 15,500 is very likely to come. If we have a major crash, maybe we can reach the bottom here of $13,000. I have personally my buy orders all down here in this region of around 12,000 because this is I think a very reasonable price target in case of a bigger correction because that would mean that Bitcoin is going to do a 30 to 40 percent correction and this is always what we are seeing also during the bull runs and in the daily you can also see that currently all the indicators are shifted to the upside so even if we would have a short-lived correction here all the indicators are still pointing out that we will see continuation to the upside especially for the long term and now if we compare it to the DXY which is still very very weak and still in a huge big bear market you can see that we are still falling off the cliff here we are also here far away from the 200 daily moving average right here at $96 so I'm not any more so confident that we will go and test this moving average anytime soon especially since we are now getting again rejected from the 20 and 50 daily moving average so we should expect continuation to the downside and also if we have a look into the RSI and into my own indicator you can see that we still have a lot of room left to the downside so that is not looking like a bottom in my opinion we most likely are heading now towards here the main support of $90 and that of course could lead into a big pump in the Bitcoin price and bring us straight towards new all-time highs and now we can have a look into the weekly time frame because here of course we are also looking a bit exhausted and you can also see where the 20 weekly is lining up right now right here $12,000 where also the 0.5 fib line is lining up so even if Bitcoin is gonna crash from this local top that we had currently at $18,600 and crash down here to the 0.618 fib line this is the fib line that usually Bitcoin retraces during an uptrend you can see that this price level is right here at $9,500 this was our 
previous main resistance here when we created this inverted head and shoulders pattern then we saw the breakout so even if Bitcoin would complete retrace back down here towards $9,500 we will still remain on our bullish way to the upside and we will see another confirmation that this 10k area is our new support and we should be heading again to the upside I'm not telling that we will reach these levels down here I don't think we will go way lower than $12,000 but keep this price level here at around $10,000 to $9,500 in mind if we're gonna have a major crash because if this was right now the local top then the 0.618 fib line is lining up perfectly at our previous big resistance area which now is turning into new support but keep that price level only in mind if we're really gonna start to crash right now Bitcoin is still looking very bullish and I think we still have a lot of room left to the upside what we have seen so far is just the beginning and I'm pretty confident that we will create at least a new all-time high before we're gonna start a major correction to cool off a bit all the indicators so everyone has the last chance to buy some cheaper Bitcoin and then we are gearing up into new levels and with new levels I'm talking about everything above 20k because I think as soon as 20,000 is broken you can see here the next fib levels especially this one here the 1.618 here $30,000 I think this is a very realistic price level if we're gonna see FOMO kicking in here after breaking 20k so we most likely are going straight towards 30k and this is where we're gonna have to see if we can see follow through to the upside direct or if there maybe we have another correction to the downside retest this 20k area confirm it as a support and then have another bounce to the upside but these are just speculations so these fib lines that you can see over here are my price levels as soon as we're gonna break 20k because no one knows what Bitcoin will do once we are reaching new levels we never went above 20k so everything is completely new then and no one can tell you what will happen exactly once we're breaking 20k but the fib extension that you can see over here in my opinion makes a lot of sense and I think they will be very very helpful for the next big parabolic run up towards this 100 to 300 thousand dollar per Bitcoin potentially coming up next year and with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now another big shout out to all the bitcoin hodlers and don't forget during a bull run try to long the dips try to buy every bigger dip that we're gonna see the easiest way to make even more gains and to multiply your bitcoin portfolio is to wait for these big dips and then scale in nice long positions like here on bybit or femex for example that is the easiest way how to multiply your bitcoins even with smaller amounts because even if you go with low leverage in here at the end you will multiply your Bitcoin and at the same time it will be worth even more so you have a win-win situation also if you're interested in joining my discord trading chat the link is down below here this is where you can contact me directly also if you want to get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin and also for other assets so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye